All right, guys, what's up? This is two six. We're here at OSW's Black Friday event. Gonna have some fun. Need to relearn the car. Uh, we have 100 more horsepower because of the turbo. Uh, we have a hydro now. Um, you know, I'm monitoring cooling. I'm doing a lot more things differently than I was uh, when the car was naturally aspirated. So de definitely a learning curve. So it's gonna be a fun event. Three days starting today, Friday uh, through Sunday. So uh, let's get driving. off because my GoPro died with a fresh battery that I put in it last night I have no idea what happened uh, there's some sort of draw a ghost in the system ghost in the shell type of deal but it's like sucking the battery out of my GoPro so I got no footage from that first session so um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break right now uh, probably head out to the oval you'll get footage of that and then the second session out on the skip pad so, car is great though, it's fucking amazing, fucking amazing.
guys what's up it's day three of uh black friday at osw last night was uh king of osw uh it was great competition was great um a lot of close tandems um so it was it was really good uh it's just freaking cold <laughs> well cold for me so it's been in the 50s um you know which is it's not strange, but so Wednesday or Thursday of this week, it was it was probably hot. No, it wasn't probably. It was hot. It was like in the 80s and 90s down down south in Miami. And talking to some of the people up here in Orlando, kind of a similar uh, temperature. And then this weekend on Friday, um, yeah, got it. Got down into the 50s Friday night. Last night in the 50s during the day, it's manageable, like in the 70s. But today's projection, weather-wise, is overcast with a 30% chance of rain. So it's gonna be cold. And last year it wasn't this cold, so uh, it was cold. It was cool, but not this cold. So yeah, today's the last day. Gonna do my final two sessions and just uh, pack up and head home. So far, I'm very happy with the car. Um, yeah i mean i'm just i'm loving it the power that having that extra power helps so much having a uh a functioning handbrake helps a lot um yeah and i'm just i'm just loving it the only issue i'm having with the handbrake is that i can't see it in my peripheral because it's black so it blends in with the dash uh so when i get home i'll put some you know some sort of holographic silver or vinyl on it so it can you know stand out from the dash and hopefully that'll help me um with those handbrake pulls because sometimes i'm like reaching and i'm looking for it looking for it looking for it, and then i grab it and then i pull back instead of just having my hand on it, instead of just reaching grabbing it and pulling right away so simple fix uh the only other issue i had um last night on my last run is the throttle cable popped out of this little uh, bracket that comes on the skunk 2 um, intake manifold now that's a known issue with that manifold and that bracket because that bracket is not uh, very secure even though uh, I have mine zip tied to help keep it tied to the bracket um, throughout the event it has been coming like off but after every session i've been able to push it back in and then keep going and then last night uh i guess i was just giving it too much sauce <laughs> and luckily it was on the last turn so i was able to like coast to the to get out of, off the track it just popped off the car strained up and i i got to press on the gas pedal <laughs> and it's all the way against the firewall <laughs> i'm like what the f so that was interesting something new that i experienced but an easy fix nonetheless when we get back home um nestor's gonna help me figure that out figure out some sort of bracket or maybe uh modify the the original bracket from the old manifold the original manifold uh to make that work because this is annoying so i used to be paranoid about about the temps i'm watching temps temps are good now i'm paranoid about the throttle cable uh, <laughs> so but uh that's just me temps are perfect cars running great i have no problems uh, whatsoever so i'm very happy with that and uh yeah today's the last day so we're gonna go have some fun
second, at least on my first one. OSW's Black Friday event this year and first and foremost I want to say thank you to my wife my kids who pull up put up with my BS for these last two years uh, with the Miata uh, Nestor Planet Drift Motorsports to help me you know get this car uh, set up and dialed in um, and yeah the car was just it did what I wanted to do I was having a blast as you can tell in the videos uh, drifting is just so rewarding um, when you get things right it's just it's unlike I would say unlike any other feeling just you know like accomplishing something and you know I just need to say thank you to everybody before that and um, and yeah that's 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 pretty much it I uh, I was by myself so I didn't get much out footage outside of the car so like all the pictures that you saw thank you to uh, uh, GTH media on Instagram and then the drone shot from uh, flying Polak 
on uh, Instagram. Without that, I would have nothing outside the car. So big thanks to them. I really appreciate it. So yeah, so down to the nitty gritty. I gotta work on my line. Uh, my initiations were all over the place, so I have to get consistent. Um, work on my marks. Uh, work on getting the car outside. Cause I'm pretty confident on hugging the car around a cone if I have to. It's just keeping the outside line um, as, as where I'm supposed to be. And it's just putting the car in that position and then just figuring everything out from then. So right now it's just, it'll be just working on those little things to make me better as a driver. Because right now I have the tools um, and you know, there's, there's no reason why I can't get better. So again, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more uh, fun videos. Peace.